We need to make three final changes to this project in order to finish. We need to show the correct number of items, show the correct information inside each cell, then make it so when users tap a picture, they can set a person's name. Those methods are all increasingly difficult, so let's start with the first one. Right now, our collection views number of items in section method just returns 10 every time. So we have return 10 hard coded into our project. This is easily fixed. We'll change return 10 to be return people.count. We want one cell, one item in our collection view for every person in our people array. Next, we need to update the collection views cell for item app method so it configures each person's cell to have the correct name and image of the person in that position of the array. This takes a few steps. First, pull out the person from the people array at the correct position. Second, set the name label to the person's name. And third, create a UI image from the person's image file name, add it to return value from get documents directory so we have the full path for the image. We're also going to use this opportunity to give the image views a border and slightly rounded corners, then give the whole cell matching rounded corners to make it look a bit more interesting. This is all done using CA layer, so that means we've got to convert the UI color for the border to a CG color. Anyway, let's dive into cell for item at. Right now we dequeue the cell and return it immediately. We need to add some more code here. First, we're going to pull out the person at the people array that matches index path dot. And you're going to see in here, we can do section. We can do row. We can also say item because this thing again it doesn't have a concept of rows. It's a grid, it has items instead. We're gonna say cell.name.text is equal to our person name. Now if you remember, this name value here, this property, that's our UI label inside our custom person cell type. So we're saying assign this person's name to the text of our label. For the image, we're gonna call get documents directory and append the path component of the person's image name and use that to create a UI image. So we'll say, let path equals get documents directory dot appending path component person dot image. And we'll assign that to the cell image view image using UI image contents of file. This is like a path name to somewhere on disk but you'll see it wants a string, not a URL, unhelpfully. Thanks for that, Apple. Fortunately, we can convert our URL to a string by saying our path dot path. Convert the URL to a string, and that'll work great. Next, we're gonna add the border around our little uh, cell. So we're gonna say cell dot image view dot layer dot border color equals a UI color and there are lots of completions for this. We want that one that will make a gray border. And we can do this using one of the built-in grays, or we can use an alpha value to create a different kind of gray instead. So you'll see we have uh, you know, hue and red and white and so forth. I'm gonna choose white. Don't use RGB, use white instead. So it'll go between white and black, a grayscale color with an alpha component. So I'm gonna say my uh, white is going to be zero. Give me complete blackness. For the alpha value, we're going to use 0.3 and then use its .cg color property. We're going to say cell.imageView.layer.border width. How thick to draw the border is going to be two points this time. And this time we're going to round the corners gently. So I'm going to say cell.imageView.layer dot corner radius, how much to round the corners. I'm gonna say use three points. We'll also round the whole cell's corners to match the image view. So we'll say cell dot layer dot corner radius equals seven. And these two values here, three and seven, are just numbers I've picked that look good for this size. You're welcome to customize it all you want to. So let's try and press Command R now and see where we got to. Hopefully we should be able to add things now, see them on the screen with rounded corners. So here's our plus button. I'll press that now. I'll choose moments and this nice waterfall picture here from Iceland. Here's my chance to crop picture I want to. I'll just choose choose. 
and boom, there we go. There's our picture, with unknown below. You can see gently rounded corners on the image view, and it's a little outline, slightly transparent, and larger rounded corners on the containing collection view cell. It looks fantastic. We're not quite done yet, though, because we still can't assign names to people. For this last part of the project, we're going to recap how to add text fields to a UI alert controller, just like you did in Project 5. All the code is old, but I'll go over it again to make sure you fully understand it. First, the delegate method we're going to implement is the collection views did select item app method, which is triggered when the user taps a cell. This will pull out the person object at the array index it was tapped, then show a UI alert controller asking users to rename the person. If you remember, adding a text field to an alert controller is done with the add text field method. We also have to add two actions, one to cancel the alert and one to save the change. To save the changes, we have to add a closure that pulls out a text field, assigns the person's name property, then we'll also reload the collection view to reflect that change. That's it. So we'll head back to our code again, and we're gonna add a new method down here. Did select item at, get our person from the array, we'll do people index path dot item, make a new alert controller, this time the title will call this thing rename person. The message will be nil. Preferred style will be dot alert. We're going to add a text field here by doing ac dot add text field. We'll add our OK button to rename the person by doing ac dot add action, a UI alert action. The title will be OK. Style will be dot default. The handler will use trailing close syntax for. We're going to say weak self, comma, weak AC in. Now remember, this thing will be passed in, the action that got tapped. So we have to have either action in here or an underscore. We don't care the action here, so underscore is fine. When this thing's triggered, we're going to read out the text field text and use it for our person name. So first, let's read that out. We're going to say guard let new name equals ac dot text fields question mark zero dot text else return. So attempt to read out the text fields text. If that fails, get out immediately. We'll assign it to our person name by saying person dot name equals new name, and then reload our collection view. We'll say self question mark dot collection view dot reload data, like that. We also need a cancel button here, so we'll say ac dot add action, I oh, better add a closing parens there, whoops. Uh, add action is a UI alert action with a title cancel, Style is uh, dot cancel and no handler. Get rid of the handler entirely, like that. And finally, present AC animated true. And finally, the project's complete. All right, now we should be able to import photos of people, then tap on them to rename. Let's try out now. I'll press plus. I'll choose uh, this waterfall here again in gorgeous, gorgeous Iceland like one big Iceland advert here, thanks Apple. I'll press choose that person, then tap on the cell, and I'll rename this person to be uh, Iceland, and press OK. Boom, there it is, fantastic, good job.